The ancestor of the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is the Toy Spaniel, which was very popular in England and Europe in the 16th and 18th centuries. In later times, namely in the 19th and 20th centuries, these dogs almost disappeared, and therefore it was incredibly difficult to restore the breed. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel takes its name from the monarchs Charles I and II, the grandsons of Queen Mary. They are small dogs, compact in build. The muzzle is slightly flattened and short, and the forehead is pronounced. The limbs are in proportion to the body, the ears are long, and the tail is short. The coat is long. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a purely decorative breed that can perform only one function, companion. No other functions are provided for in principle, and it has been cultivated and nurtured in the breed for hundreds of years. In the Middle Ages, these dogs lived in luxury, and although times have changed, they still like to be at home, in a comfortable environment, together with their owner and loved ones. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel loves to be held and generally loves affection. Being away from their family and the owner, this breed cannot categorically, and, therefore, accept the fact that if you buy this dog, and leave it to friends while you go on vacation, it will not work. The animal will have to be taken with you. In general, the breed Cavalier King Charles Spaniel has a good, gentle, malleable character. But if he is spoiled, the character can deteriorate, the dog will become capricious and may not even react quite adequately, and even to members of his own family. Although, usually these dogs are very friendly and good to everyone. Especially if that person offers goodies. King Charles Spaniel has a normal level of energy, but can be lazy. In any case, regular walks and active games are necessary. They treat children well and are very rarely aggressive toward them, but, in any case, the child must be trained in proper behavior with the animal. By and large, all the education of these dogs comes down to the formation of their correct character. In fairness, it should be noted that the majority of individuals from nature have a harmonious and obedient disposition, and therefore, usually, there are no problems with education. Unless you have not spoiled your dog and do not spoil his character. Of course, you need to teach your pet basic commands, and also, if you want to take part in various dog shows, be sure to study in advance in what disciplines this breed is used, you can shape the process of training, starting from the specific tasks.